Download this code from codegib.com, link in the description below. They cannot install error related to the Shamiko module, particularly during the unzipping process, is often encountered when working with Magisk modules on Android devices. Shamiko is a popular Magisk module used to hide the root status of your device, which can be crucial for using certain apps that detect root access. If you are facing issues during installation, here's a comprehensive guide to help you troubleshoot and fix the unzip error installation failed message. Tutorial, Fixing the Shamiko unzip error during installation. Prerequisites 1. Root access Ensure your device is rooted using Magisk. 2. Magisk Manager Make sure you have the latest version of Magisk Manager installed. 3. Shamiko Module Download the latest Shamiko Module zip file from a trusted source. Steps to fix the error 1. Check the zip file integrity. Ensure that the Shamiko zip file you downloaded is not corrupted. You can do this by checking the file size against the original size listed on the download page or by verifying its checksum, md5 slash sha256. If the file is corrupted, re-download it from a reputable source. 2. Storage space. Ensure that your device has sufficient storage space. Insufficient space can lead to installation failures. Go to Settings Storage to check available space and clear some if necessary. 3. Install via Magisk Manager. Open the Magisk Manager app. Tap on the Modules section. Click on the plus icon, or the Install from Repository option. Navigate to the location of the Shamiko zip file and select it. Wait for the installation process to complete. If it fails, See the next steps. For manual installation. If the automatic installation fails, you can try installing it manually. Use a file manager with root access, like Solid Explorer or Me Explorer. Navigate to the Magisk installation directory, usually found at slash data slash adb slash modules slash. Create a new folder named Shamiko in the modules directory. Extract the contents of the Shamiko zip file into this folder. Ensure that the folder structure is correct, it should contain files like module.prop, etc. Reboot your device. 5. Check permissions. Ensure that the permissions for the Shamiko folder and its contents are correctly set. Typically, the permissions should be set to 755 for folders and 644 for files. You can change permissions using a root file explorer. 6. Review log files. If the error persists, check the Magisk log files for more details on what went wrong. You can find logs in the Magisk manager under the logs section or in the slash data slash Magisk slash logs slash directory. Look for any specific error messages or codes that can give you more insight into the problem. 7. Compatibility Issues Sometimes, the version of Shamiko may not be compatible with your current Magisk version. Check the Shamiko GitHub or XDA page for compatibility notes. If necessary, update Magisk to the latest version or download an earlier version of Shamiko that is compatible with your setup. 8. Seek Support If you are still having difficulty, consider reaching out for support. You can ask for help on forums like XDA Developers, providing details about your device, Magisk version, and any error messages you encountered. Example Code for Manual Installation Here's a basic example of how you can extract the Shamiko zip file manually using a terminal emulator. 1. Open a terminal emulator. 2. Navigate to the download directory, where the Shamiko zip file is located. 3. Create the module directory. 4. Extract the zip. You can use a tool like unzip. If your terminal emulator supports it, you can run. Make sure to replace shamiko.zip with the actual file name. 5. Set permissions. 
6. Reboot your device. Conclusion By following the steps outlined above, you should be able to resolve the cannot install Shamiko on zip error installation failed issue. Always ensure you're using the latest versions of Magisk and the Shamiko module to minimize compatibility issues. If problems persist, consider seeking assistance from community forums where experienced users can provide additional insights and solutions.